my Morocco travel vlog, part three, Casablanca and Rabat. Hey everyone, my name is Haley, and this is Plain of Champagne. Your solo girl's guide to travel. We left Essaouira in the morning and stopped for lunch along the coast. If you want to see my arrival into Marrakesh and explore Essaouira, you can find those videos here. We had delicious smoothies and I got a paella. One of the main ingredients in paella is the spice saffron. Saffron is one of the most expensive spices in the world, but you can get some in Morocco at a good price. But be sure to get it from a trusted spice store, because merchants may try to sell you safflower instead, which is not of the same quality. After that, we went to Hassan II Mosque. It was completed in 1993 and is the second largest mosque in the world. It's also one of the few mosques you can visit as a non-Muslim, and you can only visit with a guided tour. Definitely make sure you are dressed conservative. I wore black linen pants and brought a cardigan and scarf to wear over my flowy tank top. They will also have you take off your shoes, so bring or have socks if you want them. After the tour, we had some time to take pictures. Next, we visited the famous Rick's Cafe, made famous in the movie Casablanca, although none of the movie was actually filmed in Morocco. So we just saw the outside and kept moving. Next, we went into the center of Casablanca. This was really hectic. And it was times like this that I was so happy that I booked a tour with Travel Talk Tours. I would not recommend going to this part of the city alone. Lastly, we got dinner. I had a pastilla. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a typical Moroccan dish. It's kind of like a sweet and savory meat pie, wrapped in a dough and topped with cinnamon. Kinda weird, but kinda good, too. Lastly, we headed back to our hotel for the night. We had an early breakfast and got back on the road towards the capital of Morocco. We arrived in Rabat and had a tour. It was a mix of both walking and bus. We stopped at the mausoleum of Mohammed V and Hassan Tower. Then we went to the Casbah. Yes, like the song. Rock the Casbah. Casbah means fortress, and this one is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. When you're walking around anywhere in Morocco, you will see so many stray cats. It's rumored that there are as many cats as people in Morocco, but as cute as they may be, do not touch them. 
You don't know where they've been, if they're carrying any diseases, etc., etc. So look, but don't touch. This Cosba was very beautiful. But if you think these blue walls are pretty, you ain't seen nothing yet. This afternoon, we made our way towards the blue city called Chefchaouen. But that's for the next video. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you want updates on when I'll post my next Morocco video, make sure you hit that little bell. And as always, you can find more information and links to all of these places on my website at plaintochampagne.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.